Hi everyone, so about four months ago I received a score of 254 on my Yosemite Step 1 and these are the resources that I used. First up, everyone has heard of First Aid. First Aid is the top resource to use when preparing for your Yosemite Step 1. Um, I have the 2017 version obviously because I took my exam in 2017. Um, I prefer to get the most updated version of Yosemite Step 1 just because they always have um, improvements, ad additional pictures perhaps, or even more clarifications on various concepts. So I just didn't want to mess with getting an older version. First Aid is great in that it provides all the high yield information from things ranging from general principles like biochemistry to um, the more organ specific systems like cardiovascular hematology and oncology as you can see as i open up the this book you can see how thick it is it's a very 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 thick book that you probably want to use during your second year of medical school as you're going through the various courses so my med school was block based so i would have system based blocks with cardiovascular for instance being one block respiratory being another block hematology being another block and as i went through the blocks i annotated the various sections of first aid so the sections like endocrine i would annotate during my endocrine block and so on and so forth so you can see here the biochem is very high yield it covers things from cellular to molecular biology it goes very in depth but even though it does cover a lot you still want to have a background in biochem and then annotate any additional information that you might need to clarify a concept in the book so the key to being successful with using first aid is annotating it i can't emphasize that enough annotate as you go through your coursework during your second year so that when you're then reviewing first aid right before and during dedicated you can really get a hold of all the concepts the next omg pathoma is the book that you need for pathology review now this is something i purchased like my first week of second year because i wanted to make sure that it would help me with pathology in all the systems what you do or at least what i did and found successful is that i would listen to his associated audio lectures which you can find on his website when you purchase the subscription and i would watch his videos before my corresponding block so if, if i had a gastrointestinal block i would watch his audio lectures and then annotate any additional information that he provided that wasn't written in the book so that then i can then review it at a later time now these next two resources are optional but I found, especially USMLE Step 1 re Secrets, to be really helpful during my second year. So it provided, it really emphasized even more high-yield information. And what I liked most about this is that it's in a clinical vignette format so that you're reviewing key concepts, but it's providing the concepts and presenting it to you in a vignette form so that you can really get a hold of how you will be tested come test day now this last resource is um your assembly q bank and it's just used if you want additional questions apart from like your kaplan q bank or your u world q bank if you want just additional question resources you can use this book and of course it's formulated and presented in the same way that your assembly step one questions are formatted so those are the top four resources and this is excluding Sketchy, of course, because that's an online resource. But I would also recommend Sketchy Micro and Sketchy Farm in addition to these resources to help you succeed in your preparation for USMLE Step 1.